your man Freak. Like I said, I'm going to try to do uh, as many tutorials as possible. So uh, this one's going to be pretty much on uh, sampling and uh, recycle because I, I had a lot of uh, people asking uh, getting them recycled. It's not too much to recycle, but uh, I'll just give you what I can. Um, I try to keep it as short as possible because i got a little time restraint, but uh, we'll get started. All right, as you can see, i got Goldway open. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and sample something in. Uh, I'm going to take uh, the new Nas and Jay-Z since uh seems to be the hot topic right now. This what it's come to, huh, DJ? This what the fuck it's come to. I know you can feel the magic, baby. This uh, featuring Jay-Z. Uh, uh, Turn the music up and have fun. This is a war for me, yo. Uh, East Coast slang. Yeah, that's perfect. Take your time, make a nigga wait on this. Small Off that hip hop is dead. Remember when you heard it first? Making it bad and shit like <laughs> niggas usually just start rapping. All right, that's good enough. We're gonna do. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna right click, trim it down. With my sample. Hit the magnifying glass and go to the selection view. Take a look at what I got. This is the war for me, yo. East Coast slang. Yeah, that's perfect. Take your time, make a nigga wait on this. Small Off that hip hop is dead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One thing I like about Gold Wave, it's got a little loop button with a happy face. So I can get it down to what I want. I can also zoom in and, and uh, get down to the nitty gritty if possible. Loop of light. What I do is hit the trim button, bam, it's done. Go ahead, save it real quick. I usually like to save it to the desktop as a like a raw sample. Let me know that's my raw sample. So yeah, replace it. All right, minimize that. Open up, recycle real quick. Go to open, find my sample, the raw sample right there. A preview. Yeah, it's the joint right there. All right, you can tell. We recycle. Here's the original BPM of just the sample I did. 45.526 BPMs. What I like to do is make it a nice uh, number within the hip hop range, which I usually is uh, around 86 to like uh, 104 with me. You know, the, the range varies with different people and different styles. So make it 80 something and just double it up hit in and bam it's like uh, 91 now sometimes I like to round it off sometimes I keep it the same but right now I'm gonna round it off make this tempo right here it's a tempo of the sample this is gonna be the new tempo of the sample right here it's gonna be two bars long so it's a two bar loop when I put in the reason the original tempo with the two bar loop it's gonna be 91.051 you can always come back to it and reason I mean come back and recycle and uh, put it to that original sample if it makes you feel better alright let's take a look at the sample listen to it Now, you can use the sensitivity uh, amount, and it'll automatically slice up the sample for you up to uh, the biggest uh, peak levels. If you could check it out. You can always take them out just like that. Just click and drag, and then... Uh, forwards and back buttons as they say play the previous slice and then play the slice or move to the next slice and this is once again your play loop you can change your attack you can delay 
search finishes, which you're gonna hear in reason when the sample finishes. But you turn it up, and I play it again. See how it stretched it out? Keeps going on and on. It's nice to have it on that way if you, you can kind of stretch it out. Here you can change the pitch and then listen to it. And it just changed just that section of the pitch, which is sweet. Uh, to get it back to the preset, you just hit control and click on it and it goes back to normal. And there you go. You can also change the pitch individually up in uh, Reason. Um, if you want, you can turn on here and you can change your threshold and the amount of thresh, your attack, the release, or you can click it here and turn up on your uh, your uh, effect. I right, back. Sorry about the uh, brief interruption. What I'm gonna do real quick is throw it in the reason. Oh, let me go back. Recycle. What you want to do? You want to go to file, save as, and then uh, name it what you want. I'm gonna name it Nas Jay Z sample. Click save. I'll fix all. Do your loop. Minimize. Open up your reason. You can tell I already got reason open. I'm working on some tracks. Go ahead. Open up the sample here. I'm just gonna fool around with it a little bit. Go to where my sample is. Look for it's called Nas Jay Z sample. So there it is. Plays a little snippet, and now I got it in the reason. I can play. There you go. It's all chopped up. Hear it in its entirety. Hit the preview. Notice down here, my BPM is only 86, so it's trying to sync it up to the 86 BPM. Get it on track and go 91 because I said it was 91 here. So here's 91. Now you can, what you can do is you can change the whole picture of it just by going down the keys. And now you got a new little sound to it. You can make it pan left to right. Hit pan here. Some uh, Spanish and defense. Also, uh, go ahead. Offload it. Also, use it as a filter. Also, go to not. A high pass, too high fat, too low passes. Like I said before, you can also change up this. Set it in and then push it up. See how it pitched it up just alone? Just a bit. Roll it back down. So, check it out. Yeah, that's how it is. No doubt. I freak. I'm out. Just a little uh, snippet of the sampling and the uh, recycle. All right.